Greetings friends! Welcome to another vlog. I got a nice adventure to go on. I'm currently moving, so I gotta move all my junk from here, where I am, to where I'm going, a thousand miles away. So I'm gonna have a little road trip, because I am alone in this trip, just me, and I'm kinda losing my mind. You can see I've started packing up the garage already. Tools, stuff, you know, a lot, lot more to do. A lot of junk inside that I'm packing too. And I'm not taking this road trip in that red car. Not the red car that you saw in the other vlog before. Not the autocross car that's this one. That's still here. No, no, no. I am going in this one. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a great idea to me either. So hopefully it'll run. It's older than I am. It's an old van. And uh, yeah, we're going to go see if it starts. It's been sitting for like, it's been sitting for like six months. Six whole months. I haven't even started the thing. So, okay, we're gonna give it a shot. Here we are, it's a beautiful uh, Ford 1987 Econo line. It's got curtains, stuff, there's a television up there somewhere. VCR kind of around back, whole bunch of junk, broken Tupperware thing, you know, like you have. Whew, all right, not looking forward to this. All right, key, key in ignition. Um, okay, red light's on. Whoa, radio starts, that's a good sign. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed, fingers and toes crossed. It runs, it lives. It's, other than that backfire, it's as good as it's ever run. Hmm, nice. Now, I'm just gonna drive it around a bit, hopefully, uh, Hopefully it warms up. Hopefully I don't lose brakes again. That would suck. Uh, we'll see what happens. Well, here's a problem. I moved it and we got this nice gross oil slick, I think, or maybe coolant. It's time to play a game. What's leaking now? It's been sitting, ooh. Ooh, that looks like oil to me. Oil, yep, more oil. More, lots of oil. That's, that's not good. All right. Let's see. Huh. I'm missing a part here. I gotta find that. Find where that went. Coolant. I don't know if the camera's showing up. Oh, there is no coolant covering the fins. That's not good. New alternator, still looking shiny. Whatever this is, brake fluid. Got enough brake fluid. Let's see, what do we got here? Transmission fluid? We got transmission fluid. I know it's hard to see, but I'm doing this one-handed. The last time I went on an epic road trip with this, the transmission started leaking. Well, transmission oil cooler started leaking, so that should be fixed and fine. Oil, a lot of oil, that just ran, and I haven't, uh, I'm only one-handed here, so I can't check the oil. But I guarantee you it's low. Okay, so we're, we're, oh. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you can see, but down in there, somewhere down in here, the engine is a lot wetter than it should be. It shouldn't really be wet down there. I suspect it's wet with one of the fluids that's low, probably oil. Let's do a little more official oil check with the rag. And... Like none, there's like no oil. All right, that's a good sign. How did this thing start so well? That's weird. Oh, I only grabbed one quart, so I'm gonna have to put the whole quart in. All right, engine, down the hatch. I'll just leave that there. Go get the coolant. All right, next step, refill radiator. You know, if you're wondering how often you need to check these fluids in your real car, every now and then, doesn't hurt. But in reality, you shouldn't just be dumping bottle after bottle of fluids. Like, if you have to do that, something isn't right. In my case, I'm broke, this van is 30 years old, and I can't afford a new one. Most people wouldn't have to keep filling it up, but most people don't drive cars older than them. So keep dumping, dumping, dumping. What do we, nope, still need to keep going. 
This is a big jug and I got two of them. And when those run out, I'm going to start topping it up with water. This is pre-diluted, by the way. Pre-diluted antifreeze. Okay, it's just about up to where it should be. Yeah, didn't even take the whole bottle. Pretty much the whole bottle. All right, that's more like what I want to see. Actually has fluid in it. You need that coolant. You need it especially because engine runs on fire and fire hot. Coolant necessary because hot is bad. Warm is good, hot is bad. And I'm down at least another quart of oil. But the good news is it's not burning this oil. It was leaking the oil. That's much better. Maybe. Alright, it's two days later. I got the van loaded as much as I want. And there's one last thing I gotta do. I filled up all the fluids again. Uh, double check. Now I just want to make sure the tire pressures are high enough. Because higher tire pressure means lower friction. Means less fan blowing up. And then um, there's air shocks in the back. I'm going to check those too. Kind of pump everything up. Alright, got my compressor ready to go. Alright, tire number one. Tire number one, too low. Air time. Huh, that doesn't look, oh, that's not good. Everything is just rusting apart on this. Just keep filling it up, filling it up. Okay, 35, that's about where I want it. All right, and repeat for the next four tires, which I'm not gonna film. All right, here we are at the back of the van. The thing for the gas shocks. Here's a nice mega awesome trailer hitch. Sway hitch, kind of cool. The thing for the gas shocks is this. So I gotta fill that up. Fun times. Well, more fun times. Look at all the rust. Mostly surface rust. That's not so much just surface rust. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the back end is starting to rise. Don't mind the hissing. That's the air compressor. Just can't get that in there cleanly. Too much junk in the way. Or perhaps the fitting is cracking. Wouldn't doubt that. Sure would be nice if this was in a slightly more accessible spot. Blame my dad who set this up for towing. These are all tow trailer brake controllers and that's like 40 pounds. That's enough. Okay, good to go.